my family, Duchess Megan reportedly saw Barbie, the movie Barbie, with some girlfriends last week. That is the story that is being spread right now, my family. That Megan went to watch Barbie with some girlfriends last week before her birthday. My family, first of all, allow me just kindly start by saying this. This story, first of all, comes from a Madoc owned publication, page six. And my family, we do know that Prince Harry is suing a Rupert Madoc owned tablet in the UK, the Sun tablet. And we all know that his media outlets in the US are being weaponized to harass, attack, and hound Prince Harry Meghan. So whatever you see coming from a Madoc owned publication, be it in the UK or even in the US, take it with a grain of salt. My family, you know, I am a firm believer. If you say something or have a story, let's say, for example, my family, like this story, that Megan reportedly saw Barbie with some girlfriends last week, I'm a firm believer that you must have evidence. Not just say that Megan went to watch Barbie with some girlfriends last week. You must have evidence. Pictures, photos, images of Megan with those so-called girlfriends last week. Because when you say, hey, look, this is where Megan was at last week. My family, I don't believe nothing coming out of a Rupert Murdoch-owned publication. My family, we heard those stories even, that somehow Megan goes out to parties while Harry stays at home alone with the kids, with Archie Lilibet, while well, Megan goes out to parties. And then it turned out to be Prince William. They have no picture of Megan at these so called parties while Harry stays at home with the kids. They have no photos whatsoever. No photos, no evidence, just allegations, just a story that they are creating. However, they have a photo of William going to a nightclub, a nightclub, without his wife, Kay Moulton. There are photos of that. You know, everything they say Megan is doing, clearly, it's a projection of what William is doing. And my family, it is high time they stop projecting what William and Kay Moulton are doing. Onto Harry and Meghan. My family, Keza shared some opinions about this story from page six. My family, here's what Keza said. That Meghan celebrated her birthday on August 4th, on Friday. And two nights before her birthday, Prince Harry took her out to dinner in Montecito accompanied by their friend Matt Cohen they went to an Italian restaurant called Trillion and I, Keza says, looked up the menu as soon as the photos came out on Friday, hilariously Daily Mail did the same thing and they ran a stand alone story all about the restaurant who owns it the wine selection the lavish branches and the over 30 dollars main course menu everything <laughs> and yet they call megan irrelevant <laughs> <laughs> but Harry and Meghan go to a restaurant and Daily Mail even looks for the menu that is being served in that restaurant of people who fled the UK, who fled Britain 
more than three years ago, were called unpopular based on polls conducted by Daily Mail and Rupert Murdoch owned publications. But yet, when Harry and Meghan go to a restaurant together with a friend, they look up even the menu of what is being served at that restaurant. My family, this is just a sick obsession that these tabloids have towards Megan. And it is it's sickening, my family. It is sickening. And it's disturbing, really, my family. You know, at this point, people should be calling for Megan to just even, you know, file a restraining order on the UK tabloid press. And this Murdoch on publications because this is sickening. My family. You know, you don't see this happen with other people just on Harry Meghan. You know, whom they call relevant. Who they say are so, so unpopular. However, when they go to a restaurant, thousands of articles are written. My family, thousands of articles are written. GB Propaganda News every day dedicates segments to attacking and harassing Harry Meghan. It's sickening. It is sickening, my family. It's despicable. And now, my family, we have kept on seeing when Meghan goes to a restaurant, they even find out the menu of what is being served at that restaurant. It's sick. It's a sickness, my family. It is a sickness. It's a sickness. It is harassment of Megan by these media outlets who abuse her, hound her. My family, it is sickening to see what they are doing. Why can't they focus on their taxpayer-funded royals and leave Harry and Megan alone, my family? Because we don't see them doing this to other members of the royal family who are fully taxpayer-funded. They do this to Harry and Megan. And my family, we must condemn these disgusting practices. My family. Whereby anyone who is even close to Harry Megan is targeted. Whereby wherever they go to, Daily Mail even looks for the menu of what is being served at that restaurant where Harry and Megan are. My family, it's sickening to see what is happening. And we must condemn these disgusting practices, my family. My family, the tabloid media chose to side with William and Kimbleton and they abused and attacked Harry and Meghan to undermine them, to demean them. They chose William and Kimbleton. Why can't they stick to the people they chose? Charles, William, Kate Camilla and leave Harry and Meghan alone, my family. Because this, what's happening, is quite, quite despicable, what they're doing, my family. This harassment of Harry and Meghan, it must stop. My family, and even Keza said this, I love how every salty commentator is in lockstep about how unimportant and irrelevant Harry and Meghan are. Meanwhile, they pour over Every single little thing Harry and Meghan do. Where they go, who they see, who they speak to, what they eat, they even want to find out. My family, it's because the rota still views, you know, Harry and Meghan as their personal property. That they have a right to cover Harry and Meghan, whether Harry and Meghan like it or not. That's how they view things, my family. That's how they view things, my family. Because years ago already, Harry told them zero engagement with Daily Mail, Daily Express, the Sun Tablet, and the Mirror. Most of these tablets, Harry is suing. But yet, they constantly obsess over Harry and Harry's wife, Megan, and Harry's wife, Megan, and also Harry's children. My family, we must condemn these disgusting practices of this harassment, 
we are seeing her and Megan are being subjected to. And my family, Kaiser then says this, that page six, run an exclusive about one other thing that Megan did during her birthday week. They say that she went to see Barbie with some girlfriends. I mean, my family, here is what they said, which I consider nonsense. Why? Because they have no proof, as always. They said, and I quote, She's Megan Markle. He is just Ken. Megan enjoyed her 42nd birthday early by going to see the Barbie movie with Paul, Portia de Rossi, and a couple of other girlfriends. Page 6 is told. The group watched the Margot Robbie-led feminist hit at a Santa Barbara theater earlier this week. Sources say while Prince Harry remained home at their home in California. At Harry Megan's home in California. So my family, <laughs> these people lie so much. You know, my family, I recall even page six was one of those tablets owned by Madoc that spread this lie that Harry was staying at hotels while Megan's at home with the kids to get away from Megan arch a little bit. And now they are saying Harry is at home. <laughs> and Megan has gone out with girlfriends to watch a movie. My family. My family, don't get me wrong. You know, it's okay for Megan to go out with girlfriends to watch, you know, a movie. But what I'm saying is I'd like to see some evidence. A photo of Megan. A video of Megan. But as always, they have no evidence. It is just their sources, <laughs> sources, telling them this, that Megan went, went to watch a movie with Portia de Rossi, Ellen's wife, my family, with other girlfriends, whom they don't mention, because they know nothing. Because they have no insider. They have no source close to Harry and Meghan. They don't have anything, anyone close to Harry and Meghan. And that is the truth and nothing but the truth, my family. But what's happening is that my family, the principal of the Madoc owned press, and basically tabloids in general, my family, that are owned by the Madocs and not mayors, is that don't let the truth get in the way of a perfectly good story. You know, that's what we are seeing right now. My family, don't let the truth get in the way of a perfectly good story. My family, I've also seen the numbers of page six when they write a story about Harry Megan. My family, they get hundreds of thousands of clicks, views. I have seen the numbers of not just daily fail but also of page six owned by Madoc, my family. And it tells my family that when you don't see Megan, they'll create a story. That's exactly what they'll do. They'll create a story about Megan one way or the other to feed off of this global interest that exists on stories pertaining to Harry and Megan. Because there's a huge global interest. And that's why more than three years after Harry and Meghan fled from the UK. Still, the tabloids that call them irrelevant can't go a day without trashing Harry and Meghan. They would not do what they do if it wasn't lucrative. The sad thing is, it's extremely lucrative. And that's why... They do what they do. My family, you know, a couple of months ago, this person called Benjamin said that, you know, this hate industry against Harry and Meghan, you know, is basically a billion dollar industry, my family. 
And the reason it won't stop is because too many people are depending on Harry and Meghan for a living. And that's why it, it won't stop. You know, and that's why even when you don't see Meghan, you will see a story about Meghan with no evidence, no pictures, no videos. Just a story that, you know, Meghan went to watch Barbie with girlfriends. No picture, no evidence, nothing. My family, because if you're going to create a story, back up your story with proof. Say Megan, say this. Say Harry, say this. Back up with pictures, videos, you know, anything, my family. But as always, the Madoc on Press has nothing but just, you know, the stories they create about Harry and Megan. My family, you know, here's what they said. That the Suits alumni kept the festivities going by joining friends at the Porsche San Isidro Ranch Hotel in Santa Barbara Monday night. We hear that Megan posed for photos and made videos with the Bachelorette group that was celebrating at the hotel. And where are these videos? Where are these videos, my family? Because by now, if truly there was, this, uh, there was a bachelorette, you know, group there who took videos, by now it would have leaked. My family, by now it would have leaked. Because the Madoc Oil Press will pay a fortune for those so called supposed videos. They pay a fortune. For videos of Megan, for a video of Harry, they pay a fortune. My family, you know, and if it's someone who clearly does not know Harry Megan, my family, who is close to Harry Megan, let me just say that my family, like this so called Bache Lorette group that was there, my family, celebrating at the hotel, my family, celebrating at the hotel, then my family, someone would have called a tablet, a publication, and sold the videos of Megan at the hotel. That is what would have happened. For my family, there is no video of Megan at this hotel. My family, the media know that Harry and Megan like to go to the San Isidro ranch. We were saw that in the Harry and Megan docuseries. They like going there, my family. To see the horses. They like going there, my family. And they also have a friend, my family. There. They are friends, my family. So they know that. But my family, you know, all this story has been created based on what people already know. Like, for example, my family, Harry and Meghan like to go to the San Isidro branch. They like going there for a fact. We know that because already... We learned in the Harry and Meghan, you know, look series. We saw where Harry and Meghan were. My family close to horses, you know. And also my family, you know, Meghan took some, you know, photos, some pictures for the Cal Magazine cover. You know, at the San Isidro Ranch, if I'm not, you know, mistaken. So my family, basically... They do know. They do know, you know, where Harry and Meghan like to hang out. They know that for a fact. So my family, clearly, what they're doing is just creating a story based on what, you know, we already know. That Harry and Meghan like to hang out there. That even Harry and Meghan have filmed, you know, some clips at the San Isidro Ranch. They know that, my family. You know, they know that fully well. And my family, all this shows is that stories are being created based on what people already know about Harry and Meghan. What already Harry and Meghan have shared with all of us. So clearly, it just proves that these media outlets know nothing. They know exactly what we all know. 
nothing more, nothing less. And that is a fact, my family. Because whatever it is Harry Megan have to tell us, they tell us themselves. Whatever it is that Harry Megan have to say, they tell us themselves. That is what normally happens. If Harry and Meghan have anything to say, we can't see their faces. We can't see their mouths talking. Harry and Meghan not speak through sources. And that is a fact. So all this story has been created. My family. It has been created. Harry and Meghan keep a very, very low profile. My family, here's what they're also saying that one on Luca tells us that Megan went over to wish the bride good luck. Why is the video? Why is the clip? Why is the proof, my family? Why is the proof like how they would show William at a nightclub? A man who's married with three kids at a nightclub, my family. Why is the proof of Megan at this hotel with her girlfriends? Where is the proof? They have nothing as always. Nothing. My family. And once again, they say while Harry stayed behind, while his wife Megan had fun with her friends, at the beginning of the week, he made sure they still celebrated her special day. On Wednesday, Harry and Megan was spotted grabbing dinner at Trelune, an Italian restaurant in Montecito. My family, we do know that. But where is the evidence of, you know, Harry staying at home while Megan goes out with girlfriends to San Isidro, San, to San Isidro Ranch? Where is the evidence? Where is the video you say was taken of Megan celebrating at a hotel with the Bachelor Lorette group? Why is the video? Why is the evidence, my family? Because you do know a man of all publication would pay a fortune for that video. Madoc owned a Madoc owned publication would pay a fortune for a video of Megan, for a video of Harry anywhere. They pay a fortune. Daily Mail in particular would pay a fortune. My family, but yet, you know, once again, there is no proof. Just nothing really, my family. You know? And my family. Here is what has also been said that as for Harry and Meghan's plans for her actual birthday, Harry and Meghan spend the day at home with their two kids, Archie and Lilibet. Oh, so now Harry stays at home and not in a hotel. <laughs> you know, I keep saying that you know, the media want Harry and Meghan to perform for them. They lie about Harry and Meghan and then they want them to make an appearance and just show up, perform for them. That's what they want, my family. And they lie so much, hoping to get a response from Harry and Meghan. Not just spread hate about them, but hoping for a response from Harry and Meghan, that Harry and Meghan will engage with them. And Harry and Meghan ain't never ever gonna do that. Harry and Meghan don't play the game with the tabloids, and it's high time that they understand that, my family. You know? Harry won't ever play the game, my family, or perform for the tabloids or the Madoc own press or Rodney own press. He's never ever gonna do that. What Harry's doing, my family, is suing them. And that's why they keep lying about him, to spread hate about him, my family. But my family, hate is loud, but it never ever wins. And that is a fact. My family also, here is what is being said, that an insider tells us that Prince Harry is purposely staying behind to be with Meghan. So my family, now he's being forced now. As he's slated to appear at the ISPS Sports Value Summit Special Edition, in Tokyo next Wednesday. Tell us something that we don't know. Tell us something we don't know. Already everyone knows that Harry will be in Tokyo. Because 
it has been announced by Senator Bali, a charity founded by Harry and Prince Iso. Already we know that, my family. However, you have them, you are having this media outlets, my family, trying to twist and spin a story. You know? My family. Yesterday they were saying that Harry and Meghan are living separate lives, that they're on a trial separation today. They're saying that, you know, Prince Harry is purposely staying behind to be with Meghan. Oh, my family, you know, the lies here are just too much. The lies here are too much and they can't stick to one lie, you know? Whenever Harry and Meghan tell their story, you have one story. Not two stories. But the tablets, every week they'll have a story. Every day they'll have a new story. They create a Harry and Meghan. Despicable. And it's disgusting how this media outlets lie so much about Harry and Meghan. It is quite, quite disgusting and despicable what they do. And they must be called off what they are doing my family. It's high time they stop lying about Harry and Meghan. My family also, here's what is being said in my family, that after arriving in Japan, Harry will head to Singapore with Nato Figueras, where they'll play in the 23 Santa Bale ISPS Honda Polo Cup at the Singap Singapore Polo Club Club all Saturday. My family, it's unclear whether Megan will join him, you know, in Asia. But the pair are confirmed to attend the in British Games together in Germany, Düsseldorf, in September. My family, again, something everybody knows. And once again, they're showing they have no access to Harry and Meghan. Everything they find out already, we have been told, already, we all know. And that really is what, you know, angers Madoc-owned media outlets. The fact that they are not the first one to break the story. That Harry and Meghan are able to tell everyone whatever they want to tell them, my family. That is something that they can't be able to stand, my family. That Harry and Meghan have the freedom to tell their own story. Well, it's high time that they understand that Harry and Meghan have every right in the world to tell their own story whenever and wherever they want. And no one can tell them otherwise, my family. And that they'll never ever have access to Harry and Meghan. Now, my family, Kaiser then says this in response to this entire story. If this is true and Meghan wants to see Bobby with her girlfriends, I think that's nice. Harry would have enjoyed the movie too, but understand why Megan wanted to see it with her girls. It's a great movie. I bet she enjoyed it, my family, says Keza. Now, my family, you know, once again, there is no proof of all this, my family. There's no proof. No picture, no video of Megan, the so-called girlfriends, no picture, no video, no nothing. My family, I feel like, once again, you are seeing a Madoc on publication creating a story to feed off of the global interest that people have, you know, in the lives of Harry and Megan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. My family, I feel like that is exactly what is happening. My family. And my family, the Madoc owned press will never ever have access to Harry and Meghan. Never. Never ever have access to Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And it's high time this carnival or so called experts understand that they'll never ever have any access to Harry and Meghan. Never, ever, 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 you know? And my family, once again, there's no evidence that Megan went to see Barbie. No evidence whatsoever. And they have no access to Megan. 
this is just a story created by the Murdoch on press to feed the interest that people have on the life of Megan. My family, if they have any evidence, my family, it's important they show it. A photo, a video of Megan watching this so-called, you know, movie, this Barbie movie, my family, that has cost, you know, a billion dollar mark. If they have evidence, let them show it. Let them show the evidence. But my family, you know, they don't have evidence. And that clearly is the reality of it all. My family, so what do you think about this story kindly? I'd like to hear your opinion, my family. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Bedana, and Doria Raglan. And all of you, no one's squad at home. He never wins, love wins. And no matter what is thrown at Harry Megan, the media will never ever succeed in destroying Harry Megan. The farm won't succeed in destroying Harry Megan. No weapon found against Harry Megan, Archie, Lebedana, and Doria Raglan shall ever prosper. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you all the forever. If Megan watched Barbie, then cool. It's a good movie. It's across the $1 billion mark my family and what i'm saying is that honestly there's no evidence no picture no photo no video and without that to me anything that comes from a murder court publication is all a bunch of lies show me the proof show me the proof show me the evidence but as always the murder court press never have any evidence just creating stories they'll never ever have access to megan it's high time they get that stay tuned to our next video my family love you all forever he never wins love wins and stay tuned to our next video god bless harry megan archie Bernard, and dorian Raglan, and all of you members of squad at home he never wins love wins and stay tuned to our next video hello members of this company tv first of all i want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel we don't take it for granted that you support this channel i want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices supporting prince harry and megan showing them love love will always triumph over evil and for that i say thank you good will always prevail over bad thank you so much for all your support thank you so much for joining this community this amazing community of zesco family tv i love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and i wish you all the best May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.